are Nikki and Carlo and our family live in Positano, Italy, nearly 500 steps from the road but surrounded by fruit and olive trees and with a fabulous view. Our garden overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what life is really like on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diary. This morning I am in Praiano. I'm in a B&B &B called the Costa Diva and it's at road level, well it's just below road level but it's got its own entrance here which you can see I've just driven in and it's got the most beautiful view and it's always sunny this side of Praiano which is lovely. I'm doing the makeup for um, a couple of twins, Lucy and Kelly. They are English but with Italian grandparents, I think. So let's go and give them some makeup for a little photo shoot they're doing and have a chat with them. There's the main hotel over there, isn't it beautiful? We're doing two makeups for a little photo shoot and they're going to be slightly different so I'll just use slightly different colours and then we will go outside and check because it's a little bit dark in here we haven't got proper lighting so we'll check outside and then we're going to hang around for the while for a while and see the photo shoot where they go and what they do. Which makeup brands do you like the most? I like different brands for different things. So I like the Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation. Oh, yeah. I love that. I have I was going to swap this year. I was going to go for something new, um, but it also depends on what they're in. So the Illamasqua ones are in plastic bottles, okay. which are really handy for carrying around. Whereas most of the others come in glass bottles, which smash, yeah. and when, especially when you're carrying around and you're on a scooter, and, yeah. do you know what I mean? It's, and, and the weight as well. I mean, I've yeah. got to carry all this up 500 steps. So I was looking at what's available in plastic bottles, and yeah. there's not a huge choice no. at all. No, you're right, yeah. There's Dior have one, but it's not the one I would choose if I had to choose a Dior one. Yeah. Um, Mac do some, but I'm not convinced. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I thought, do you know what? I always love the other mask. I love yeah. how it works. I know it really well, and I know that I can mix it and cut it with things and mix colours together. But I'm just going to stick with that. Um, I feel like that's the first blush we had when we first started. Really? really? I feel like it is. I think, do you know, I might actually still have it. No, actually, I think I eventually changed. <laughs> I feel like well, we've kept makeup for a long, long time. And then um, eyeshadows, I use a mixture of MAC eyeshadows, um, Morphe eyeshadows, and then oh, I've got yeah. all these little Huda Beauty, um, little little tiny mm. things which are brilliant, and they come in all different colours, so I've got like that which I hardly ever use, as you can see, <laughs> but I did an 80s um, music video and that came in really yeah. handy for that. <laughs> that was a great video, by the way. No, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah. It was really fun, yeah. It was an Italian band, so oh, yeah. sort of nobody really knows who they were apart from the Italians, but oh, it was, no, like, it, it was quite a popular song here, I think. We like listening to Italian music, because I feel like that's another way to immerse yourself in trying to learn the language. Do you think um, your eyes are mine heavier? Just doing a couple of test photos to make sure that everybody's happy with the look. And I am just gonna adjust this piece of hair from my helmet because Lucy's straighteners are on the ground. That's better. <laughs> Very pretty here, and it's looking to be a lovely blue day as well. Look at this lovely terrace. The tiles in this place are lovely. In room two and the bathroom. So there's Paolo Sandoli's tower over there. And the first few boat excursions. And then there's all that land down there as well. Well, there's that. Jeremy Borash, that yeah, was that's what I remember. I always remember you saying it on the British food camp. Trying, this window has got the most amazing view. It's yeah, just yeah. look at that. Just from waking up to that, it's a tiny, tiny little bedroom. Just a little single room, like an attic room. 
Photos are being taken by Laura. Laura lives in Amalfi and she has the blog Chow Amalfi. It's also the name of her Instagram. And she is also the writer of The Moon Guides for the Amalfi Coast, which is out now. The second version is actually out now in all good bookshops. And Lucy and Kelly are also writers. It's like a room full of writers today and have a whole selection of books. I will leave their links all below in the description box so you can go and take a look. Um, and just getting some photos done now. <laughs> but then I thought we could either do the one where you go. No, yeah. Wait, hold on. How do you do it? Oh, this way. Oh. I'm looking at the camera. You're not. Right, we're off to take some photos. Let's explore this. Place. Ooh, I like it. This is bellissima. Oh, not one, Mamma Mia. <laughs> In the law! <laughs> this is the dream, isn't it? Photo shoot in the oh, long room. <laughs> and this is their sister taking some more photos. And I've just picked up. Here's two of Lucy's books. I think she's written six altogether. And Kelly writes children's books as well. And I've just noticed yeah, yeah, so both of the books are about bride, three sisters. Oh, One, two, three. We're now in another lemon grove. Yeah. On the terrace a bit further down. Why don't we have this amount of lemons in our garden? Why doesn't it grow like this? This place is actually quite big and it is a great place possibly for a wedding. It's got lots of gardens and terraces tables and chairs everywhere it's really lovely we try both your, your instincts but then just think like so just we're trying for the maybe the front cover this is absolutely stunning walking through this little archway here the view at this little side window so you might think that my life here on the Amalfi Close is incredibly glamorous but let me just show you how unglamorous it actually is. So on the way up this morning, it was eight degrees, even though we're in mid-April, it was eight degrees when I left the house. So I had to wear my winter coat because when you're driving a scooter, it gets really cold. So this is how I came. I had to wear my winter coat, but then it pushes all my hair forward. So I had to tie my hair up, which then makes me feel like a boy. And then I've got about 12 kilos, no, probably more actually, about 15 kilos of makeup, which I had to wear on my back. But then that leaves me with my other bag. So I have to wear that on my front. And then when I get to my scooter, I put a helmet on and it rained. And this is broken, so the rain goes in through the hole here. So my, my helmet's wet inside and smells horrible. So I have to put that on as well. And that's not particularly glamorous Amalfi Coast, is it? <laughs> this is how I travel. <laughs> <laughs> it's now lunchtime. We're going to have lunch at Kasai, which is this lovely little place here in Prayan. It's on the roadside, so there's all these lovely little tables here. I've always wanted to come and eat here. I've seen it a lot on Instagram, but I've never managed to stop off, so I'm looking forward to this. And if you're wondering where everybody else is, they're walking up. I've got my scooter, so I've been driving up and I meet them when they get here. And suddenly they want to get a photo with their spaghetti, so I've just taken their food over there. <laughs> month wait but finally our kitchen tiles are ready they should be coming out the oven as we speak and we're just about to go out and drive over to the air suite to pick them up I haven't seen them we've had a few trials and they didn't go too well the colors were not at all what I wanted 
He's now done them, but he hasn't shown them to me. So I'm a little bit terrified that they're not gonna be what I want. So fingers crossed, everything will be okay. Luckily, I have just remembered that we are gonna need something to carry the tiles down with, so. <laughs> Hopefully those will be okay. Ciao. This is Andrea, this is Luca's Hello. son. He lives above us, not Sky. Somebody yesterday commented that they thought that Sky lived above us. She doesn't. Andrea does, and he's off to work. Give you a little update. This little one here is now nine kilos. She's not happily sitting in here anymore. She just she not want to be in here. She wants to walk. We've got another two months of this to go. Saranno due mesi più duri. Tutti i cani ti seguono. Absolutely stunningly wonderful weather for nearly the end of April. Sì, è bellissimo questo tempo, mi piace da impazzire. I was hoping that we were going to have a nice long walk along the seafront in Maori like we did last time, but um, we'll have to see how the weather is when we actually get there because it's not looking good. Okay, we're nearly there. Not a Piovanti. I call it. And once we've got our tiles, we're going to go into the Etri and have a quick little wander around. It's not raining at the moment. Here they are. They are still in the oven, so they're hot, hot, hot. Still haven't seen them. There's a little sneak peek. Wow, the heat coming off that is incredible. Wow, look at that. So the tiles that I designed, um, it's not a design that I made. It's something that I found. I was looking on Pinterest for kitchen tiles, something different. And I found this beautiful, beautiful couple of photos. I think it was originally from Vogue Brazil his kitchen that he designed himself, absolutely beautiful. I blatantly copied it, I just changed the colours, so his tiles were black and white, and I've done pink and green. Just a little bit more colourful, we all know I like my colours. Quite like that little fishy one there, I didn't see that last time. He's tidied them up, they're all in a different order. <laughs> There's the colour charts that I had to pick my colours from and this one as well. I think I picked this and this and then these two greens here. Now originally this was my choice here but when we put them all together there was all these little faces. Can you see that like tribal face there? Look. Here's the eyes, nose and a little moustachey mouth and we decided we didn't really want that looking at us in the kitchen, but I still do really like that design. But it's nothing like what I've actually gone for in the end. I thought maybe something less busy would probably be better for in the kitchen, which I have to look at every day. So I know that looks a bit odd like that, but you have to wait until you see them all together. And apparently, as they cool down, they get paler, so the colours change a little bit. There's a couple broken, that's fine, that's all expected. And they're just too hot to touch at the moment. Now the really funny thing is that because we were waiting for the tiles to cool down, Carla went and got the dogs and he had them both on leads. Sì, e io tenevo il guinzaglio, no? E e e Poi Nicky si è girato e ha detto, scusa ma dove è Indy? Ha detto, sta qua, ce l'ho il guinzaglio. L'ho tirato su, questo è il guinzaglio. She threw it through. in like no time at all. Incredibile. Vabbè che questo è piccolo per lei, però sì, sì. voglio dire, l'ha staccato in un attimo proprio. Un morso gli avrà dato, guarda. Incredibile. Adesso è tranquilla, guarda, l'angioletto.
As you can see, the weather has not improved. Whether we're going to get our walk in via today, I think we should anyway. Facciamo comunque una passeggiata sulla pioggia. E se non piove così, come la facciamo la passeggiata? Vabbè, andiamo al centro di via e proviamo. Proviamo. So we're driving down to the Marina di Vietri, even though it is pouring with rain. Carla's never seen the really colourful little alleyway, so I thought I would quickly show him that because it's fun. And um, maybe some doggies need to do wee wee's. We will see. As you can hear, it is pouring with rain and there's no way you can take the dogs for a walk in this, they'll get drenched. So I had the wonderful idea to stop for lunch. Okay, queste sono le mie idee migliori, fermarci per mangiare. We found a little restaurant called Dal Pescatore. I prezzi sono ottimi, meglio di Corsi Italia, Corsi è molto bello. And these two are here, they've even got their own little bowl. Sì. As usual, I got a little grilled mixed fish. Carla has got a calamarata, pink pasta. Come on, I think. Non so, perché ha lo stesso colore dei calamari, guarda. Ah. And just a side of vegetables. Simple. We finished our lunch. It has not stopped pouring. And it just seems to be getting stronger and stronger. I'm sure you can hear it. I don't think we'll be able to go for a walk. Allora, il uomo che ha fatto questa strada non c'è più, però qui c'è un delicazione a lui. Delica. Una delica. And he started painting and never finished. And it's really pretty. Let's go up. I did come here last year with Elizabeth. Ho dimenticato di pensare di avere una così con i denti, invece no, ce n'ho una liscia, ho fatto io i denti per passare la colla per le mattonelle. Adesso lo dobbiamo lisciare un po' che è tutto arrugginito. You realize that you have a t-shirt with Hello Everywhere and a hat with Hello Everywhere. Yeah. Questo è un regalo di Harry, eh? Yeah. È sempre necessario proteggere che questa colla è davvero terribile. Quando si attacca non si stacca più. Quindi... Addosso? Ah, guarda, guarda a me. Devi andare più giù, qua. No, tieni la vicino. La prima mattonella è sempre più difficile, iniziare è sempre più difficile e poi dopo 
diventa più facile Adesso andiamo a tagliarla. Andiamo a vedere se va. Te lo toglierò un altro poco. Ecco qua, penso che siamo giunti alla fine. Ho messo anche lo stucco dentro le mattonelle. Sono abbastanza soddisfatto di quello che ho fatto. Are you salting? Look, yummy. Mmm.